We believe that we have a video that you are going to love. We had one of our viewers and subscribers by the name of Luke Ledbetter come and pay us a visit in the Cove. He brought us several nice things and he told us a lot of stories about Cade's Cove that we would not have known. Mr. Ledbetter has ancestors who lived in and around the Cove and he had some very interesting things to show us. We are going to make a separate video of our own drive through Cade's Cove, but we wanted to make this one by itself because of the information that it contains. Mr. Ledbetter drove us through Cade's Cove pointing out various things that we never would have known had he not been with us and taken the time out of his day to come and visit with us. We are very thankful for Mr. Luke Ledbetter and the information that he shared with us that day, and we want to share it with you. We believe you will find this video very interesting. Due to the fact that we are writing with our windows down, sometimes some of the audio and us talking is hard to hear. In those places, I have included text to show what we were talking about. Is that, okay. the, is that the only camera you use? Sometimes I we use... I thought you'd have a, you know, a big old something. Other um, this takes the clearest video of any camera I've ever owned. Really? We do use our phone in restaurants sometimes, but yeah. let me introduce you. This is uh, one of our uh, subscribers, uh, Luke Ledbetter. We've actually interacted with him through comments for a while. He came over to see us this morning. This is a very interesting gentleman here. He, he's got a history here. His family grew up here in the Cove, uh, in the area, and lived here. And So he's brought us, tell us about the honey and that, um, this again. This honey was made from bees. The stock actually come out of Cage Cove in 1936. And they've been handed down. My dad is He's kept the swarms for years and years. He passed away, and we give this the bees to uh, a friend of mine. And this is where the honey come from. This actually out of st uh, stock from Cage Cove, 36. Wow. And when my dad left Cage Cove, he took, uh, they took grapevines, and they took bees, and he took some garlic. I still have the garlic growing at my house. My son has it, and other people have it. The garlic come out of Cage Cove has a big bulb, mm -hmm. and then it splits in different pieces. <clears throat> right, the clothes, yeah. But these grapevines come out of Cage Cove, and they've been rerouted over the years and passed down, passed on to people. These come from my brother's house. He has grapevines that were rerouted, and he took them to his house. That's where the grape jelly come from. That's, that's something else. He brought it in this. I thought he was bringing me a Big Mac or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd rather like have it. the honey and <laughs> put some history like behind that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, yeah. We appreciate that. But yeah. yeah, he lives locally in the area still. Drove over here this morning to meet us. And um, he's going to be our tour guide. We're going to ride through the cove now. And he's going to point out some things that I would never have been able to tell you. Yeah, so. family grew up over here. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Yeah, so I don't know what he charges by the hour yet, but it'll be well worth <laughs> it, whatever it is. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to take a ride through the cove again, and uh, we're going to go here with uh, Mr. Ledbetter, and he's going to, in fact, a little nature trail that we walk out of this campground just for some exercise, it's called Ledbetter Ridge, and you said that was your grandfather's or yes. your father's? Yes, my grandfather. So, we've heard some very interesting stories. Here, bring the book. Uh, let me show the book. He's also brought us a book today. <laughs> Cades Cove, as it was from Delorce Abbott. You have to pronounce that last name. Co Coata. Cahorn. Okay, and Judy Abbott Hill. So he's given us this book today, and it is actually a pictorial history of some of the homes that used to be in the cove mm -hmm. that you would that we would never have known that, that were ever there. Uh, just all through that, I can't wait to get into this and, and learn a lot more. So. Yeah. Anyway, we have asked him if he would like to ride through the cove and point out some things to us, so that's what we're going to do now. Right here goes into the picnic area. That was your grandfather's hog lot, yeah. where the picnic area is now. Yeah. Years ago, in me and another boy, we cut every one of those pine trees down there for pulpwood. All them out of the Right where that field's at. All these, yeah, all the way down through here. Yeah, we got us a chauffeur going through the cove now. Mr. Ledbetter is taking us through here, and we're going to learn a lot. This is that's a rich mountain up there. My cousin, there was a fire tower up on that mountain. My cousin stayed in that tower, 
and we would go up there on the weekend on Sundays and us boys would make paper airplanes and we'd throw them out that there. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Up there on Rich Mountain. Mm -hmm. So you said there used to be three or four houses back up in yes, that field Anthony. there. The Anthony's. Okay, so your uncle's barn was right here. Right here. On the left. Lake Myers. And these are things just riding through you'd never know where even right there. And the house was right here. Here, I'll go out the window. That, that back side back there. So Harvison Branch right here. We've been crossing that every morning or every time we go through. Alvin Gregory, so I'm assuming he would have been related to Russell Gregory. Yeah, probably, yeah. But who Gregory Bald is named after. <clears throat> like the cabin that's there now. The ones in that book don't look like the ones that's there now. I was just wondering if they just put them anywhere, if that actually was the spot where John Oliver lived. Or the only one that I know was for sure, yeah, that's what, that's where it was at, but I don't think that's the cabin. It don't look like the cabin that's in the book. Right. Of course, they took some off the cabin. A lot, a lot of these cabins, they took porches off of them. I was going to say, yeah, this one side of the cabin looks yeah. like they Yeah, they took, they took porches off of them. They pulled it by a little dozer. Okay, so what he was just telling us was this was a gravel road. And when he was younger, they would come over here every evening and just ride the loop on that gravel road. You should see in the book. Right on that page. Okay. AC Sparks. Mm -hmm. Now they farmed all this. AC Sparks did. House is right here, the barn is right out there. Should be, we go down the curve here, I pull off here, you should be looking at the front of the house. This, shade, this tree was in the yard. Oh, wow. Now you should be looking at the front of the house. Yeah, here you go. Might be very few to the camera on this side. So here's the house that he's talking about, the Ace of Sparks, mm -hmm. and then the barn. And he's saying this tree was actually in the front yard. So it was right in this area. We've actually been area. picture of the photography session out of that tree. Never knew that. Hmm. That's something. Is the tree in the picture? There's just some little branches. <laughs> Place now. So say that, say that one more time. Uh, I want to get you that just one. imagine these fields looking across. You can see all the way across the cove. Uh, there were no trees down along the creek. You just see all the way to the mountain, just fields. Yeah, corn. You said wheat. Corn and wheat. Wow. Looked very different back then. We'll go up and park and we'll talk about it. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Alright, so up in there used to sit the house of, what was the name, Andy Yang? Yeah. LaCroix? Yeah. And you said you all believed that place had oh, we, thought, we, we thought it was always a ghost in there. We, we'd come by, we'd walk down through here, we'd come by, we'd run when we got there. <laughs> run by. <clears throat> I have heard of Gregory Cave. I've seen okay. pictures. We've never walked never up to it. There, you should go. And that's you the road. That way? Yeah, you can go up and just follow the trail. He'd go right to it. And it's, uh, yeah. We'll, we're, we'll do that tomorrow because yeah. that's something I've been meaning to do. I, I wasn't sure exactly where to do it from. I had heard behind the yeah. John Oliver cabin. But. Right here, you just walk up. There's a trail up there. People have made a trail to it. And that house, that Gregory house you see there uh -huh. on the right, there's some uh, 
picnic tables up there. They used to have a, like an outdoor little information school thing. People would go up there and they have a little outdoor. And there's some picnic tables on the right up there. They're still there? Yeah, they're still there. Okay. So how and far a walk is it up there? You, you're back. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I wasn't asking. I just was wondering. Just how... uh, it's about as from here down, back down to that curve. We're not know how. It's not that far. No, it's not it just, it's so just, just stay on that path. Just stay on that path. Okay. It, it'll lead you right up there to it. You, when you get up there, you'll see a lot of rocks up on the side of the hill there, and it's up there. Beautiful, beautiful place up there to take pictures around those rocks. Yeah, I've seen mm -hmm. pictures. What was you telling me about a fallout shelter? Used to be a fallout shelter back in, in the 50s. In the, the government, they put some candy in there, stored it in some metal cans. And if, I guess it was for the people that lived here. If we had a, somebody dropped a bomb on us, that's where they would go. Hmm. And uh, when they closed it up, they took that candy out and gave it to my dad, and he fed it to his bees. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I have been in that cave. It is it's never three or four years ago and she was wanted to see down in it. And she got down too close and there's a lot of leaves in it and she slid down in it on the leaves. But now they've put up a you can go in it just a little piece. They've put mm -hmm. up a a metal barrier inside where you can't go no further. Okay. But it's interesting. We're going to definitely have to do that. Beautiful place to take pictures. Especially among the big sinkholes everywhere in the ground. They don't go down very far. I've been down in a lot of them. Up in there? Yeah, just, and there's a whole area here. There's sinkholes everywhere. And, and they're big. I mean, they're big enough you could just set this car down in them, you know. Wow. Yeah, and you can walk down in them. Uh, I don't know. You ever heard anything about them? They're just there, sort of. Yeah. That I'm going to ask you a question. That just reminded me. Uh, once we start the back side of the loop coming back, there's like a little swampy area back off to the left. Yeah. You know, you know what that is. It, not something you typically see around here. Like a marshy. I should say swamp, uh, uh, marshy area, sort of. It's a gum swamp. Gum swamp. Yeah. I've always wondered about that. And uh, when it's full of water. Beautiful pictures. I mean, the reflections in that is unbelievable. Wow. Yeah. I'm in a Baptist church. I did say a schoolhouse thing. Okay. Okay, right here. Yeah. Well, we're sitting where that schoolhouse was. Okay. And this is just to, off the left side of the Primitive Baptist Church gravel road. So there was a schoolhouse here. Mm -hmm. Consolidated school group. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'd never know that. It's, um, it was a yeah. big building. So what's this little path here? That's, that's a road. They used to be able to walk down that road. They were some kind of a... I was over there one time. There's some kind of a quarry over there years ago. I don't remember now. It seemed like they got lime out of it. And they lime out of it for the farm. Okay, so you were just telling me that you didn't know where the current Pearl Harbor tree was. No, I didn't. I didn't know where it was at until you told me where it was at. But there's another one. There was another tree that the Myerses talked about. They was plowing corn and they were standing under that tree. And somebody come by and told them about Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. And it's in a different place than that one. So he didn't really plant that one that's called the corn. I, I don't know about that one. Now. Wow. I don't know about that one. I don't know the history of that tree. All I know about is the other one that I heard about. That, that's the stuff we would never know if we hadn't uh, mm -hmm. had you taken us with us today. So, yeah, cause I just always assumed that was that was it. Because I'd heard the story, like you said, Mr. Myers that they had planted mm -hmm. it when he heard about Pearl Harbor. But the, the other the other Myers boys, they had another tree that they were under, and they called that the Pearl Harbor tree. Wow. But that's the only one that I ever heard about. Methodist Church. You got that church in the book, okay? Yep. Now there was a house here on the left. Did you see anything about this house here? Under these walnut trees. And which one? Which house is that? It would just be past the church or well, should after be. After I've turned the page, it's uh, William Billy Friesel Place. Frank Owenby, Lisey. 
I knew there was a big house here. I remember the house there, but it was about falling down. And there was another one way up in this field here. Chambers. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So there must have been at one time hundreds of residents here then. It was a lot of, a lot of people in here. Yeah. Uncle Witt Shields, up at the uh, Carter Shields house, uh -huh. he, was, he put a pipeline from up there at, at the spring down through these fields and, put, and uh, pipe water to this church down here. And there was a school down here. They might have had school in the church. I don't know for sure. And it was called Hyatt Baptist Church off Hyatt Lane. Mm -hmm. Hyatt Hill Didn't ever know that. Hyatt, Hyatt Hill. Hyatt Hill. Never knew that. Mm -hmm. And my uncle Whit Shells, he made the, he made the uh, coffins for people when they died in here. He kept the lumber stock and he kept, he'd have maybe a couple of coffins made, you know, maybe one for a baby and one for a grown up. Mm -hmm. And when somebody died, if he didn't have one, you know, for that one, he'd make one. Why are you not on YouTube with your channel telling all this? This I, is. This is fascinating to me. I know it. I could tell you a story about them trees there, but I won't tell. I go tell. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you, want, you want me to cut the camera off, and then you can tell it. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Do you see a? How do you say your name? Tell me. Shauna. Shauna. I'm gonna say Shauna. Okay. Uh, should be a house across from this church right here, uh, Myers. Yeah. Okay. He was blind. Uh, and they, you know, they had a gas stove and everything, but uh, I used to bring my mother here to visit them people a lot. Yeah, on the back of their house, it looks like he's got like little propane cylinders. Propane tank. Yeah, they had propane gas in their house. So what is the little monument that's out here on the right that's in this field? That's CC Camp. That's where the CC Camp was. That should oh. be close by there in your book. I got it. Next page. They worked Civilian on all, conserve, Yeah. Conserve. They built all the trails in the park. They built mm -hmm. all these trails and everything. Huh. They've done a lot of work in the park. They planted a lot of trees. And my sister, she married Charles Myers, one of the Myers boys, and they lived in one of the CC buildings up there. Okay. I used to come visit them, stay all night with them. Wow. So that's where they had like a whole bunch of buildings. That's Civilian Conservation mm -hmm. yeah. Camp. And the Myers, they grew corn and wheat, you know, and they would store it in them old CC buildings, them big white buildings. They would right. store it in those buildings. Huh. All the way down through that, because that, that wasn't growed up like that. It was just all open. Just open farmland. That little road goes out right up here. That's where the first, I remember the first park ranger living in a house. So that was his driveway? <coughs> that yeah. way. On this little road right here? Right here. The house sat right up there to the left, on the left of the road. Yeah. Wow. It was all open. It was like you know. My brother-in-law, they farmed all this. Every bit of corn, hay, has a name. I, not that I know of. Oh, okay. So I just, I guess I'm right then calling it the main overlook. I thought maybe it would name it for somebody. And you see, you see, should be a house and a barn here on the right in the book. Oh, uh, there's a Myers? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. See that big tree there? Yes. There was a kid in there one time and said they had him in there taking pictures. The barn and the house is sitting up here. I remember wow. I sat there. Wow. I'd like to see this place has really changed in my lifetime. Say that one more time. The Myers is the farm and all this over to the tree line and always to Hot Lane and down this side of the creek. That was that was their farm. 
So right here in this corner, this is where you go to the Pearl Harbor tree, the current one. So there was a post office right here? Post of the house lived here. They lived here and had a post office and a store in the house. Wow. You said Maggie Myers? Yeah. Yeah. Charlie Myers and Goldman, they farmed all this land here. Yeah, I'm actually looking at their barns and their fields. Yeah, the barns are right down here. And the little white house, we'll pull in the parking lot down here. Okay, so we're going to pull down this little parking lot here and uh, Mr. Ledbetter has a story he wants to tell us. Not the one you said we can't record, the other one about the house. We're finally catching up with the traffic. Must have a bear. Yep. This is actually the first real backup we've seen. I forgot we had two dogs in here. Yeah, I, I see you. <laughs> This one here, he'll just lay and sleep. This one's doing pretty good. Right. Okay, so down in the parking lot, and you said the little white house, and whose was that again? Charlie Myers. Charlie Myers. Charlie Myers' house. And uh, the boys, they all worked in these big fields here. And when they got, uh, when, when the mother, when she got dinner ready, well, she would hang a white quilt out on the front porch. And they see that quilt out, so they'd come to lunch. Huh. Wow. Can you imagine starting down through that field, clown corn or something? That's... <laughs> or the fields, I mean, they were that big then. You said they was bigger because there wasn't the trees. Yeah, that's see just, all those trees growing up? Yeah, you that's... Could, you, could, you could see plumb across there. Yeah. Just in that day, it's it's mm -hmm. unfathomable that they could do all that. Wow. This, this is Charles Myers' house. And where we're sitting right now, we'll be looking at this end of the house. Okay, wow. Yeah, no way, even just looking at those pictures would I have been able to figure out where you it see, was. This, this part here would face the road. Right. And this little, this barn here, it was straight down Age of the woods right there. Right down along there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's that story? <laughs> you got it off. <laughs> All right. I didn't know about the other one. Okay, so you're saying the Pearl Harbor tree that you had heard about was right down there? Yes. And that was in Charles Myers' cornfield? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay. the only one I ever heard of, and that's just where they said they were at. I don't know. That's very interesting. I didn't know there was another one. I, I guarantee you most people don't. There's a Birchfield Cemetery over there. My goodness, it looks like it's grown up. Because one of the reasons we put that in that video is because so many people on Facebook ask, where is the Pearl Harbor tree? Yeah. So that's why we put that in the video. We had no idea that that wasn't the original one. That's, that's the one I knew about. I don't know. That's the only one I knew about until I've seen your video. Yeah. That big, uh, it's a big barn out there. Yeah, it looks like a barn, a smokehouse, corn crib, spring house. Mm -hmm. We walked out there, was it last year? Yeah. And then there's there should be a house in there. The yeah, the number Birch Birchfield. Yeah, it was a big old white house. It yeah. Like a huge it, barn. It was right out there where those trees are, where it used to be. Right out there. Mm -hmm. And there's a cemetery on up there. It looks big, like it's grown up. They let it grow up. But my dad helped put a put a new roof on that Lodge Oliver barn out here. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I want to ask you about something you said back at the campground. You said that the cove was divided upper and lower Cades Cove. They always, they, my dad always called the upper and the upper upper and lower end. Uh, so this I, would have been the lower end. This would be the lower end of the Cades Cove. I don't know why where it was separated, but. My dad always talked about the upper end of the cove and the lower end of the cove. 
You said like the people in the upper end didn't really associate a lot. Well, they didn't, didn't associate. They always stayed up there and go in and stay down here. And they didn't hate each other. They just didn't associate. Yeah, much. Okay. There was a dividing line somewhere. I don't know what uh, Sundays and just move hay in that barn just so we could kill skunks. And Yeah, that would make sense because Abrams Falls is out that road. Now that big barn would be right here on your left. The spark, Sam Spark. Yeah, it's set right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was Sam Sparks. Yeah. And I helped Cody in that barn. Wow. So on the next page says Cades Cove Lower, and it's got a picture of some kids at school group. So this would be the lower. That's the lower school. Yeah. So there were two schools then. There was more than that. There was. Uh, yeah, because oh. there was a cons uh, consolidated school earlier. Yeah. And there's a cable school. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just reading on it. Just has the name. So I think. It says the, con the consolidated school took students from the upper and lower school and yeah. closed in '36. The cable. School. Yeah. yeah, now here at the Visitor Center, uh, many of you are familiar with the Banking Cable House that you can walk in and look at. Uh, Mr. Ledbetter was just telling me that that's not the original location of that. He's going to show us where it was. You can actually see it through the trees down there in the White House. But that's not the original location. So we learned something else today. So right here, if you continue down, uh, oh, this isn't Carson right through here yet, is it? Forge Creek Road, yes, yeah, right past the Visitor Center. This was the original location of the Bacon Cable House right here. Just about a couple hundred yards down that way. So, learn something else new. When I was making molasses, they grew the cane down there to make the molasses. And, uh, of course, we had corn planted by the road because they didn't want the tourists to see the tractor Let stuff. Let me see the house there. We didn't, they didn't want the tourists to see the house, the stuff that we were working in the cane with, not the modern machinery. They wanted to use the boot mule. So, this so we would grind the cane over next to the woods, and then we'd haul the juice over to the mill oh, to wow. make, yeah, and make some molasses. This house here, more modern house, used to sit right there. Uh, and their barn, which I'm going to show you a picture of now, sat right here. So they they shared a barn, the two yeah. families. Mm -hmm. Okay, very interesting. This is the Henry Whitehead place here on down Forge Creek Road. Here that one is in the book. He had a smokehouse too. What is that? Is that the smokehouse behind there? up this creek here, you've got waterfall, and you go 10 feet, you've got another waterfall. You've got one waterfall, this, this corn right now, this is the next one. For a long distance, most beautiful place that people never know about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you just got, I mean, you just got one waterfall, you got another right about, I mean, they just step right through there. This one just pours right down into the other. So is there a trail or a path, or you just got to walk along yeah. the creek? Bed? There used to be a path. There's not many paths left in Cage Cove anymore because mm -hmm. places just all go in. I'm going to repeat that because it's got the camera up. Oh, yeah. yeah, so you just, that's where you made the molasses from the sugar cane. Then y'all would just take it down here. Take it down to the old mill, then they, they would cook it off and make molasses down there. But they had a mule down there with the grind of some of the cane that we would take down there. They thought that, to us thought that they getting all the juice from what that mule was. <laughs> okay, so there used to be
be a school right there below where the Cable Cemetery is now. Well, there were several schools in the Cove at the time. The gum swamp is down here. Yeah, I have always wondered about that little swampy area right there. So it's a gum swamp. If you can see it from here, I might let, let you have the camera back there on the back side. Mm -hmm. I see the fence. Yeah. There's a little water in it. There's a little water. Oh, yeah, I see. I'm not sure. Are we allowed to walk down there? Yeah, we are. We've got a place to go. There's a big circle. So the Cave Cove Road used to go back to the woods there. Yeah. I remember the barn used to stand right here. Wind mowed it down. Yeah. I remember that. It was one of those um, cantilever barns, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Was it? They made, they made a movie right here one time. I don't remember the name of this movie. Okay, but you said we need to look at the doll maker. It was shot out of the Tipton place. Mm -hmm. But they made a movie here. I, I brought my mother over here, my aunt, and they were making a movie here. And the barn was all open, and they hung some tobacco and some burlap bags up in front of the door to make it look like the barn was hanging full of tobacco. But it wasn't, it was just in front. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't even remember what the name of the movie was, but uh, I remember when the barn flattened that thing on the ground. So just a wind blew it over, because I still remember There's that. a picture of it there. she got a picture of it. The, it's a big, huge barn. Hmm? Yeah, that's it. So that's not a cantilever barn? No, it wasn't a okay. cantilever. It was just a big barn. Okay. I do remember there being something there. It might have still been here when you started coming with me. I don't remember. Me. Yeah, he ain't been gone. Been. We would have come been. here in 93 the first time. It's not been there. gone that many years. Yeah, I remember it. You could see the other side of the cage cove all the way across through here. Oh, wow. It just, just wasn't here. It's yeah, just, just growing up. Just growing up. So now I remember this, and uh, Mr. Ledbetter was just reminding me of the Kermit Colthorn, can yeah. you say that, oh. house. He was the last person to actually have a home in the cove. Mm -hmm. Now, how was that? They basically had a lease on it, too, as long as they lived, they could stay there. As long as they lived, they stay, or they just go ahead and move back. Yeah. But didn't he pass, and didn't his wife not move on that? Yeah, she moved Yeah. But that house, I remember that house. Do you remember that house? Okay. So it's been gone probably 20, 25 years now. Last time I was there, there was very little bright. So we parked right here in the store? We're definitely going to do that. Because we usually take a day on our camp for the tour. I'm not sure. Okay. It's just like that. I would never know. We will do that tomorrow. Now we're on the other side of Primitive Baptist Church here, and somewhere in there was a mine. I think they got maybe lime out of it. I don't know. But I was there at one time, and I've mentioned it to people, and they don't remember it. Now that is Rich Mountain where the <clears throat> fire tower was. The, the pointy one on the left or the, the ridge? The one in, right in between was for the fire tower. Uh, right on the other side of that is Towns. Right. Mm -hmm. And this mountain over here, that's what they call the crooked arm. Why? I just, the crooked arm. Huh. You know. Wow. Yeah, hey, I don't know how they're getting that. <laughs> well, you know, somebody went hunting us, whatever, you know. They yeah. had a name for all these little... Yeah. Mountains around here.
There must have been a bear jam because I see rangers up here moving people along. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There was once a barn that stood right here. We were just past the camp hall someplace. What, what was the name of it? S.D. Abbott Barn. It used to stand right here. Inside that barn, you could see raccoons and stuff in there in that barn playing around. So that was the Frank. Fisher. Well, Fisher Barn it used to sit right there and it had a silo. Yeah, yeah it had a wooden, a wooden silo. silo. Let me see that. It had a wooden silo. If it shows a picture of it. Yep. Bottom left. Oh, yeah. I keep that glare off of it. You just pat, we passed through here hundreds of times and never knew uh -huh. where, how much of this stuff was at or that it ever was there. I'll stop right down here. We're talking about this. Now, the road used to go down through here. Go straight down that road right there. Went to Uncle Witch Shield's place. Of course, they moved the road. Uh, I'll show you later where it comes out. Now, all those pictures, all those buildings there, the Witch Shield's place. Uh -huh. I remember when every one of those was there. This was all open, just like those pictures in that book you got. Yeah. You could see it all. You look at that picture in that book. So there's all the buildings that were down in there. There's a Christmas. And all that was right here. Yeah, right there. And Wit Shields was your uncle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He made caskets for the people when they passed away in Cage Cove. And he kept lumber on, a different kind of lumber, you know, a lot of people want to made out of poplar, some want to made out of cedar and whatever, but <clears throat> then when he heard about the death, that he would, uh, he'd make the casket. But you said he would keep a couple of different sizes yeah, on hand. Keep, like, yeah, he'd maybe keep one for a baby and one for a grown-up, you know, just right. in case. And, and I remember coming here and going in, that, when it, in his shop. There was still a couple of caskets in there, and lumber was still there. And then the park comes along, and everything seems to disappear on the ground or somewhere. Yeah. Where it goes, I know my uncle Abe Myers' place. They buried it right there where it sat. They buried everything. Wow. They just buried the houses. Like they buried all the chimneys. You know, they I guess they burnt the wood or took it off. <clears throat> But the road went down, straight down through there, then it made a right come out, and I'll show you where it comes out, up, way up here. This road wasn't here, this is just, they put this here. Now we're gonna come to your smoky house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you couldn't see your hand in front of your face in there that night, but, um, <laughs> yeah, that was just, her failure to latch the door back, I guess, correctly. I'm surprised you remember that. That's been a couple of years ago on the video that we did. Yeah. Don't look so bad in the daytime, does it? <laughs> That's actually a pretty little place. It is. Now, up, up behind it, I've walked up through there and hunt for it. David Ledbetter tells me it's easy to find, but I've never found it. Uncle Whit Shields run a pipeline from here down to the Hyatt Lane to the church. He run water down there in a pipeline so they could have water down there. Wow. But I've, I've never found it. I've, I've, there's a little, bra little branch running down there. I guess it comes from the spring, but I've never found it. But that's just half of the house. You can show on a picture of the rest yeah, there's of it. Yeah, there's actually a full picture of the house in mm -hmm. that book. That's just half of it. Huh. Let's see that. Is that it there? That's it. Oh, okay. That's it right there. Yeah. So that was the original cabin. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you can tell it's just a lot smaller now. Yeah. Well, can you imagine that in the fall? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little stick that they could find. And they made little, little round piles. Now I don't know. I wish I could. Just tie. piles of sticks. They just, yes, stack them up. Oh, 
all over this woodland here, they'd pick up all the sticks they could find, and they'd make little round hut, look like a little hut thing, you know, just a little round mound out of sticks, all over this woodland, all wow. over it. But it's grow. You could used to see them all, but it's grown up now. You can't see none of them. They might be. They might be some out there. I don't know. But it was odd. Nobody knew who was doing it. <laughs> I wonder why anybody would do that. I don't know. Been a few years. Right there. No, that's not one. I said, where they, they are still? Have, they might have all fell. Just rotted and fell down. It's just kind of odd for somebody to, to do that. They were, it was all over that. Just they pick up all them sticks and make these little mounds. They were about three foot high and about four foot across. How many were there? Oh, they were all over this. There were lots right. of them. And nobody ever seen anybody doing it. <laughs> but I guess they're just all right. It's been a few years. But my brother was working over here and I asked him about it. He didn't know it. None of the regulars didn't know nothing about who was doing it or anything. But there might be some still out there in the woods. Uh, so looking down there at the LaCroix Cemetery, yeah. and you're saying if you can walk... You're going past that and go up the creek cross and you can come to Graveyard Hill where my great-grandfather Cooper is buried. And there's, probably, there's a picture of that. We'll get there in just a minute. I'll show you another way. But there's a gourley, what they call a gourley pond out here. I'm showing you the trail. I don't know what the name is. I think that's the gourley in that book. This is Anthony Creek. There's fern growing out of that tree. Oh, yeah. yeah. There used to be a vine of sausage can sitting on on that. And tell us how you know that. I put it there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I've sat right here and eat a mini a can of mine and sausage. Yeah, that's we walked it right out through yeah. there and there are chairs out there. But if you think back years ago this is all cleared land, you know, yeah. farmland. And we're coming up on Graveyard Hill. That's where your grandfather's buried. There should be a picture of the cemetery in that book there, Cooper. Are these places that we can still walk to? Oh, uh -huh. let me show you how to get there. All right. They got a new trail. It's not marked, but uh, David Ledbetter got permission to make a new trail. You can park right there and go down down this old road right here. See, that was an old road at one time. Oh, yeah. There's no sign here that marks it or anything. But if you get right down there, then you got a trail. I see that. It'll take you to the cemetery. And she has a picture of that cemetery there. I see a Cooper house. I don't see a cemetery. Well, you know why? Let me have a book and I'll show you. Because it's, uh, that's one I got out of place. Oh. You got to go back to the first. I guess go back to the first. So this picture here. I was told that that's my mother standing behind the house, Jim Cooper place. That's your mother, wow. That's what I was told. I'll show you where the house was. The barn was across the road from the house. My uncle's place is right up here, Uncle John Cooper. And the only thing left there is just the chip. See how this place, this was all open at one time. I can remember it being open. Yeah, I think that's the part that people are going to find yeah. the most interesting, is that you just never know that this was all and, open uh, farmland. The house you see where my mother was, right here, this Wiley Cooper. Cooper, John Cooper. And I 
And I can remember this when they wasn't in the bush. And I used to see some sweet looking flowers, you know, tame flowers, I call them. You know, that. It's like there's a little road or sort of path, right? That's, that's one of the old, the old roads. You, yeah. you get away from this, you know, you're coming into Cage Cove up the Law Creek over here. Across the creek was a railroad. All the way up to there. People don't even know that. You used to be able to see signs there. But my grandpa, you know, he farmed all this. There wasn't no timber here. They farmed it. Wow. The years sure change things, don't they? What do they do? Yep. Yeah. Goes back to nature. Yep. Okay, folks, I hope y'all enjoyed this ride through of Cades Cove. This is a little different as we had uh, Mr. Luke Ledbetter with us, and uh, he has a lot of history and some ancestry here. So uh, we did ask him if he would accompany us through the cove and point out various things that uh, we didn't know about. Uh, I learned a lot today. Yes, I did too. This is probably the most educational two-hour trip through the cove I've ever had. <laughs> uh, so uh, I just want to thank him for his time today and for the nice gifts he brought us. Yes. Uh, just really appreciated uh, the company today and, and the history and the uh, education of it. Places that were used to be roads and paths that we never would have mm -hmm. noticed. Yeah. So we're thankful to him for that today. Do you have anything you'd like to say? Thank you for the book. Oh, yes. so much. Oh, you're, oh, you're welcome. Sharing you're welcome. those history and stories, yeah. I love it. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a lot about it. Tell you a lot of things that were here years ago. and. Mm -hmm. And maybe you learn a lot from it. Yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I can't wait to be able to sit down and just look through it. Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah. Uh, you got anything you want to oh, say? Oh, I just really appreciate, you know, meeting y'all. You know, yeah, absolutely. A couple of celebrities I've been watching oh, for a well, long time. about that. <laughs> so, yeah, I appreciate, you know, just being able to take a ride with you. And, uh, and we, I'm sure we all enjoyed it. Yes, we Well, thank did. you. And, well, I owe you some gas money. No, you don't. I told him, I said, money. I'm going to pay you some gas. No. He said, I'm going to stop the car right here. <laughs> but, uh, fine fella here, Mr. Ledbetter, our first time meeting him today. Feel like we've known him for years. And I uh, just appreciate you coming out today and, and meeting us. Uh, there must not be much on TV. We've had a few people tell us this week that they watch us every day. I yeah. said, there must not be much on TV. You don't want to watch the news. Yeah, that's no. true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. But anyway, thank you so much for your time. And we believe y'all will find this uh, video very interesting and educational. Things about the Cove that you never knew before. All right, and y'all have a blessed day.